Next.js is a backend framework. A lot of YouTubers are saying this. And this is true because we can create an API folder and have an API running next to our front-end application inside the same Next.js 13 application. So now we know that this is a server that is displaying actually all our application. What we can do, we can use middlewares. If you didn't do backend engineering before, you have to know that middlewares are files or functions that are between the request and the rendering of the route. So before you enter into a route, you pass through the middleware necessary and you can do as many operations as you want, such as authentication, for instance. So we can add actually inside a Next.js application a middleware file that is going to stop every request, do some operation, render or not the root, or probably redirect, for instance. So here I got a source folder. So I need to create my file into the source folder. So I'm going to type middleware.ts in here, and there we go, I got my middleware. Otherwise, if I would not have the source folder, I would have to take the middleware.ts at the root of my application. Okay, so how do we write a middleware file? Well, let's just come back to the app folder and the API folder. And remember, we've got from uh, Next.js, Next Server that help us to just catch the request and create endpoints into the API folder. Well, basically for the middleware, now you understood that it's exactly the same. So here we can export a function called middleware, okay? And in here, we can just stop the request and do everything we want. So exactly like uh, with a root, what I would do is to import actually my next response to return a, a next response. And for instance, we can return a JSON, which would be hello middleware. All right. So we've got this. And now we add at the root of our application, this middleware file that is doing some operation. So if I go back to my app and I uh, actually I update, what we've got down there is the hello middleware that is stopping everything. From now on, I can't enter any route. I will get every time I try to enter my front end application, this middleware stopping us. So how do I go to the next route? Simply by saying, hey, next, okay? So if I do this and I come back to the main route, suddenly I'm back on my front-end application. Okay, so now let's say, and this is just a first example, I don't get any context right now set up into my app, but let's say that later I would import my context and I would be able to know if I'm logged in or not. So let's say that I'm going just going to create a variable here called is login, which is, would be a Boolean, and here would be uh, on false, okay? And let's say that if I'm not logged in, I don't want to enter into a specific route. So what I would have to do is to catch the route where I want to go. So I need to use the request, the request parameter that I get accessed from here. So I'm going to um, go down. And what I want to know, I want to know if I want to go to the page, for instance, let's go to slash profile. So here. I got my error, but here I got my slash profile page display. Let's say that if logged in is on false, okay, if logged in is on false, I would like to redirect to another page. So what I would do is to type return next response, and I would use simply redirect here. And in here, I would say that I would like to redirect to home. However, here I can't put just this string as a slash. I got to create a new URL. And I got to create a new URL here. And I got to pass as an argument the request.url uh, where I want to go. Okay? And so here, what we would do uh, at first, we would say, hey, if request.url would be equal to what? And here we got my localhost 3000. So I'm going to put that. If we enter into this condition, we would redirect directly to uh, the main page. So here I'm trying to go on the main page. It works. If I go to slash profile, I'm redirected. However, here, what we would do in vanilla JavaScript, you can basically do it with an, an object called config that you can create just down there here. If you call it config here, 
the middleware will understand that you got to pass this config down there. So what I can do is just to take just this answer in here. So I'm going just to command that and I'm going to put my redirect in here. And in this uh, object, I can pass what we call a matcher. And in this matcher, which could be either a string or either an array, and an array because you would pass necessarily some other pages. Here, I would say every time we try to enter to profile, I want a redirect. So this is exactly the same as here, but directly with this. So I'm going to go to slash profile, profile, and it does exactly the same. I'm automatically redirected because I'm using the config down there, the config object that is saying, hey, if you try to enter to profile, re redirect directly in here. So now what I can do is to try to say, hey, if you are logged in, we want to actually say you can go wherever you want. So it's going to be, if you are logged in, next response, next. So I'm going to come back to here. And if I go to slash profile, it will not work because I'm on false. But if I put true and I come back and I go to slash profile, here we've got access to profile because I got my variable up there is logged in. The official documentation of Next.js, there are more insights about matching the pass and uh, do all the work you want to do when you want to redirect, for instance, from um, the public pages to the private pages. But there are some other operations that you can do, such as catching the headers, and we often need to catch the headers. Let's give a first example. And let's say that we would like to catch a cookie. So here, let's say that there will be a cookie, and we would like to get the cookie, what we can do is to type request.cookies.get and for instance here it's going to be my cookie. Here we see that we got a problem, uh, property cookies do, does not exist on type request. This is because here the request uh, type that we got here, the interface, sorry, is not enough. What we need to do is to use the next request type coming from next server. So if I type next request in here from next server, we see that it, it is imported up there on the next server. So what I don't want, what, what I want to do, so what I want to do is to import the type here, actually next request, directly from next server. And instead of having this request down there, I'm going to use the next request type. And suddenly we've got the cookie. It's the same thing for the headers. So now what we would like to do is to catch the headers. So we can do request.headers in here. So basically here, the request.headers um, would have to be turned into a new headers object. So here I would put my new headers in here, and then I would have my headers where I could catch my authorization, etc., etc. Quick examples, we saw that with middlewares, we can catch requests and create some operations before we enter in a route. This is very useful, but this is often not enough when you want to do an authentication system. We're going to see later that in our app folder, we can create some spaces uh, with parentheses where we can apply some routes, private, public, authentify, whatever you want to call them. And in addition to middleware, we will be able to create a real authenticated system, secured and efficient.